Hi, and welcome. My name is Dan Hedges, Lead Solution Architect at Rendered AI. In this video, I'm going to cover a new method we've developed to allow you to better compare synthetic image data to real image data within the Rendered AI platform. Let's check it out. Here in the Datasets tab of the Rendered AI web interface, I have three datasets. The first contains real satellite imagery I've uploaded from the XView dataset. The second contains purely synthetic data generated on the Rendered AI platform, containing cranes and shipping containers in a variety of backgrounds. The third is that same data set, but run through a CycleGAN domain adaptation model that is trained to match the characteristics of the XView data. When we select multiple data sets, we have the option to click Compare, which will run these data sets through the UMAP comparison tool. Selecting the Fit data set defines what data set we want to compare against. Typically, this is our real data. Now we just give this a name and click Compare. This process will run these data through a convolutional neural network trained on the open COCO dataset to detect generic features found in any input images. Those feature vectors are then run through a UMAP dimension reduction operation to reduce the vectors down to three dimensions so we can visualize them on a 3D plot. Let's see what that looks like. Here we have our plot. The first thing we notice is that the real data, represented by the blue dots, covers the largest area. This suggests that the real data contains a more diverse set of features than the synthetic data. Next, we notice that the purely simulated synthetic data, our original non-adapted data, represented by the green points, covers an even smaller portion of the data, and that the orange dots covers a much, much broader set of the real data. This suggests that the domain adaptation process moved our data set closer in line with our target domain. When we inspect the images that are out of cluster, we can see images with features that are not found in our synthetic data. And we can determine whether these features are necessary for our training effort. Lastly, we can select different levels of the feature pyramid to highlight different scales at which these features are found. This gives us a rich view of our data at every feature level. This tool provides a human-in-the-loop feature-level comparison between synthetic and real image data and helps highlight specific areas in which our synthetic data can be improved. To learn more, visit www.render.ai and in the sign-in page, click Request Access to start your free trial of the platform. Also, visit our support pages at support.rendered.ai for a step-by-step -step learning guide and in-depth documentation about the Rendered AI web application and SDK. Thanks for watching.